are these people? Assange. So we okay. find out. Let's fucking go. WikiLeaks announces, and they found out from the high court, Julian Assange's UX extradition appeal will be heard at the UK high court on July 9th and 10th. Detained for Two over... more years, Julian. I hope not. My God. Detained for over 13 <laughs> years already. It's already been 13. The publisher faces a 175-year sentence if extradited for journalism. Now, again, there are few channels, I would say... Richard Medhurst, who we featured in that last thing, among them, but not very many channels yeah. that have done quite the amount of, a, of Assange coverage that we have. Thankfully, you know, thanks in part to Misty Winston. Love you, Misty. Um, we've, we, we had literally an A for A um, stream that was a vigil that Misty and Sleepy Josh were hosting at eight o'clock tonight on this, on our Rumble and all our other channels that weren't YouTube. I don't know. You can go back and catch that. I love you, bitch. Yeah. It wasn't on bitch, I don't believe. I think it was just on A for A, but it was on <laughs> INN's Rumble, INN's um, um, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. So you can watch it everywhere over That's there. That's right, it's bitches. So right? So filthy. I love That's such a great, that's such a great little <laughs> back and forth. I love that one. But, <laughs> so, thank you, Jimmy and Steph. But um, Consortium News, of course, Indie Media Award honoree, will be there. All right, and we got an article published by Joe Loria. The judges in Julian's two-day appeal hearing on July 9th and 10th are the same who granted him a rare victory last month. His right to appeal the Home Office's extradition order to the United States. So I don't know if this is good news or bad news or neutral news. It's news. It's information. <laughs> um, yep. Or chaotic just, evil news or... Justices Jeremy you know. Johnson and Victoria Sharp granted Assange the right to appeal on only two of nine requested grounds, but they are significant. Number one is that his lawful. extradition was incompatible. Lawful good. Lawful good. What? Some, well, if, it, if if we can manipulate it to work lawful, for us, lawful, 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 whatever. But lawful neutral. But number one, that his extradition was incompatible with his free speech rights enshrined in the European Convention on Human Rights, meaning that he would not be guaranteed First Amendment rights when he comes here, if he comes here. And number two, yeah. most importantly, oh, oh, actually, that that first one was also the death penalty, and I don't. I don't see the death penalty there. But number two is that he might be prejudiced because of his nationality not being given First Amendment protection as a non-American. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's an Australian citizen who never set foot in America during the entire time. But yet he's going to stand trial for life in America. Okay. Anyway, the denial of his rights in an American courtroom would go beyond the First Amendment to all of his U.S. constitutional rights, according to the 2020 U.S. Supreme Court ruling in USAID versus the Alliance for Open Society International Inc., which says yeah, that sounds that doesn't sound evil as shit. Whatever that fucking well, no, that like open, organization was open society is I know it's it a just, Soros organization. Yeah, USAID yeah. suing Soros. Nice. All right. Okay. It says that a non-U.S. citizen acting outside the U.S. has no constitutional protections at all. Yet the U.S. has the right to extradite them and to bring them here and charge them with a crime committed yeah. in the United States that they were never in? Wait, what? <laughs> the U.S. was unable yeah. to provide assurances that the European equivalent of his constitutional rights would be protected, required under British extradition law, which means that they're going to ignore their own law. That raises hopes for Assange in his appeal. Now, uh -huh. again, I don't see the whole death penalty thing, which to me also is just as important because the UK has a law that says that if there is the possibility that you might be sentenced to death by their extradition, they can't extradite you and have to let you go. Ah, uh, they'll ignore that. It'll be fine. We know that. <laughs> you know. We know that. By the uh -huh. way, hit a unity for Anna Mares. Um because she says, I'm hearing Richie say unity. Um, I'll find it. Thank you. So Assange, of course, has been in prison. We know in unity. London's. Thank you. In London's notorious Belmarsh prison for more than five years on remand. 
pending the outcome of his extradition. He has been charged in the United States for publishing classified documents that revealed prima facie evidence of U.S. state crimes. Which also mm. is, is would negate whatever criminal charges there should be because exposing crime is not a crime. Consortium News has received an award and many accolades for their coverage of the Julian Assange case. Hey, maybe that's the Indie Media Award. Maybe not. They, I know they got a Julian Assange Award. Yeah, how about that? We will be inside the courtroom and outside the Royal Courts of Justice in London for both days of the hearing, bringing you the latest news, analysis, and commentary. Joe will be flying over from D.C., and Kathy Vogan will be flying over from Australia. So, Australia. Right, yep. Donate, donate, donate to their fund drive. Uh, I wanted to well, show. Good luck. Yeah, down here, this is the award they won. By the way, Consortium is one of the few outlets on their website that lists the Indie Media Award plaque. But this is, I believe, the award that they that they're receiving that they that they're mentioning, and it's a gorgeous <laughs> glass trophy that that looks like yeah. an open book. The Julian Assange Award for Steadfast Coverage of the Assange Case, Consortium News 2023. This was some from some Dutch newspaper. Gorgeous. Jealous. It's it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Dutch, you say. The Dutch. Weird. Right? Um, um, and before we get to our next hot labor story. Okay, because this is a hot story. You crazy Dutch bastard. Yeah, those guys. We've got all of our wonderful supporters. Support independent media, like I say all the time, because it's more important than ever. Because where else are you getting that story? You get a service. You you get product for this. It's not a donation. It's not a, a crowdfunding. And we have to be careful now about how we say this. But we have supporters who appreciate the content that we provide on an ongoing daily, weekly basis. And we love you for it. Thank you so much. I love you all. Support independent media because we need it more than ever. Thank you, and I'll see you next. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye, fam. Keep us what little birds to tell you. Seeing you a bit. No, we just fucking lost the stream.